The work that I'm presenting here is ongoing cycle of prints. Once I started this project on vacation, uh, the idea was to, after the photograph is taken of a monument, to erase digitally in Photoshop the human figure from the horseback and thus uh, hopefully to release tensions in, in public space, political tensions. Now, for me, this has turned out into a kind of a, a little private gesture of, of revenge in public space to the processes of globalization, because every city, every country, every nation state, uh, not only uh, every community of people needs to have uh, identity symbols, but every nation state and, and national capital needs to have strong points of identity. I mean, usually these are monuments, and uh, they're not uh, always uh, either politically correct because of the times that, that change, the historical narrative changes, uh, but they're definitely most of the time male rather than female characters, up to 97, 99%. And also very often they come from the same similar historical period, which is the last 100 and 150 years. Now, within the context of the Autostrada Biennial, you can have uh, several readings of uh, why the curators invited this particular work for this particular biennial, considering the title of the biennial, which is All Images Will Disappear. I grew up in the 80s uh, in, in New York, artistically, ph theoretically, philosophically, and I'm very much uh, partial to the postmodern and kind of paradigm of, of the, the vision of, of basically the theory of Jean Baudrillard about the images, that images mask the absence of a basic reality. So I, I'm very sympathetic to the idea of getting rid of all the images, especially in the situation now with fake news and all sorts of uh, on, online and, and digital kind of media, which is faking or masking the, the, the reality. That's why I kind of sympathize with the theme of the biennial and I understand very easily why this work was invited here.